Hey guys, welcome to Outlaw Edge. So we've been gone for a week. We were on vacation and uh, we're back. And I really appreciate everybody, uh, all the comments that everybody, uh, they were asking, where you at? Are you okay? What's going on? Because I wasn't posting videos. And I actually forgot that we had that thing to go to. Uh, Heidi's uh, stepson, or my stepson, Heidi's son, uh, got married uh, last weekend. So we ended up staying at the cabin and stuff and hanging out at the lake, whatever. Had a blast. I'm all plugged up and like, bah. <laughs> so ready to get back after this thing. Uh, so I'm gonna start doing some welding and stuff today. I'll probably set up the camera and uh, I got you know a little bit behind. So I wanna get on this thing and get a bunch of welding and stuff done. Um, I got the TIG welder set up. I got the MIG welder set up and I'm gonna just pretty much weld all day long and try to get this frame done so I can get it sandblasted. Um, it's supposed to be really hot this week. So I'm not sure if I'll be uh, sandblasting on this frame because I don't want the equipment to like the compressor to just run all day long and overheat if it's this hot. It's supposed to be like 100 degrees here, 95 to 100. So uh, 4th of July weekend is this weekend. So of course that'll be crazy. We'll have family over and stuff. So it'll be kind of nuts, but I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can and we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm gonna get after it. And like I said, I'll probably set up the camera and just kind of weld and do my thing. Um, I got some patch panels uh, for the frame that I welded up that need to be welded on there, uh, hammered and welded and whatever and ground down. And then uh, the rest of the stuff, the, the scaly flaky crap, I'll probably just knock it down real quick with a die grinder with a, a Rolox disc on it so I could uh, um, sandblast it and not have to sit there and blast it for a long time. So it'll knock, knock kind of the rough stuff off. But the plan is, is uh, this week is to get the frame so I can get it in primer because um, I got to get it coated, but I'm not sure what I want to do as far as the coating. I want to do like a crinkle finish or a wrinkle finish, whatever you call it, or like a coating of some sort, like maybe undercoating or I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment down below and please subscribe. If you have any comments, any questions, anything like that, I'll try to ask, uh, answer the, your questions. But what do you guys think as far as like a coating on the frame? What would you guys use? Because I want to hide all the imperfections on this thing instead of trying to bodywork this whole frame and trying to get it perfect with putty and block sanding and making it mirror finish and all that crap. Um, because you can't see the frame anyways. The car, when the body goes on this thing, you literally cannot see any of the frame. The only spot you can see is like from here forward, a little tiny bit of it in the, in the engine compartment. And uh, you really can't see much of it though. So, uh, you know, once the motor's in there and the headers and all the wiring and the battery and all that stuff inside the engine compartment, you won't see none of it anyway. So. What do you think as far as uh, like undercoating or like a, a wrinkle crinkle finish on this thing? You know, like I said, leave a comment down below. But anyways, I'm gonna turn the camera off and in a minute I'll get all set up and then I'll, I'll probably just throw this thing on a tripod and set it up and go. Thanks for watching. Awesome, thank you Paul Bunyan, internet. They just did the internet in the shop so uh, it's all finished up, whatever. That's what they're looking at it. Um, running my phone off of it and stuff. But now the internet's hooked up in the shop, so it'd be pretty cool where we can uh, start doing our podcasts uh, live, you know, a lot more live videos and whatever. But uh, today, what I'm doing is I, I have this uh, Yes Welder uh, welding helmet. I know it's super cool, and I believe this is the model and serial number if you guys need it. And then I was looking through the instructions. And this is a pretty trick welding helmet. I got everything set the way I wanted it. Um, right here you have the low and the high, and that's for your sensitivity. And then you have your delay, I have it on fast. And then I have it running about uh, 10 or 11 right in there in between. And then you can switch this one to grind or weld. If you wanna grind something, you cover your whole face, which is really trick. A lot of the new welding helmets have that. It does have a test light right here for low battery and you can see the screen setting right now blinking that tells you it's good when it's doing that uh, it shows that it's good I actually uh, I'm glad I read the instructions because I pulled the batteries out thinking they were dead I almost threw these away but these batteries are good so I will put them in the toolbox and right here you can see um, let me see how I can do this right there in that little uh, cover that's one of your batteries, and then you have another battery right here. And then uh, it's got a nice 
cushiony uh, deal on, you know, on the headrest and then on your forehead also, kind of like a sweatband or whatever. And then this is adjustable, like your typical welding helmets, to flip up and down. And then this is uh, like a 3D setup where you can, uh, oh, sorry about that. I got this all stuck on there. Hold on a second, you guys. It's stuck to the front of it. <laughs> all right, here you go. So you can see that it's got the side panels front, side, and you can see one blinks like that, which is really trick. So if you got flashing coming in from the side, you don't get blinded. And you can see how you can set it to sensitivity, you know, where it's real light. That's just picking up the lights in the shop. And you got one here on the side, and you got one in the front. But Yes Welder sent this to us, and this is really trick. And then uh, read the instructions, do your battery test, make sure the screen is set the way you want. And then uh, it's got this uh, extra covers set that comes with it. You have your inside, your two side panels, and then your front panel. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some welding with this helmet and try it out, see if I like it. We'll see what happens. So on the sensitivity, I turned it down about halfway. Um, just from the LED lights above me, there's one that's like 8,000 lumens right above my head, uh, right over the top of the welding table, and it's picking it up. Yeah, now it's not doing it because it was just sitting there flashing like this. So, um, One of the other things, too, that you'll have to do with this helmet is these are adjusted for like little kids' heads or something right here on the top. You'll have to uh, get that set up where you want it because I got a big fat head. I guess the less brains, the bigger your head is or something. <clears throat> yeah, so I think it's ready to go. Still trying to figure out the uh, adjustments. There it goes. I just had them way too tight. But, you know, I'll have to fiddle around with this thing and do some more reviews and stuff on it. Super comfortable helmet though. I mean, it's really nice. I still gotta figure out this uh, crap on the side. And like I said, I'll do some more reviews on it and whatever, and try it out. <clears throat> I still haven't figured out that side, the, the adjustments to flip them up and down. Kind of fiddling around with that right now. But I got these pieces here that I wanna get welded on. Instead of messing around. And I usually wear safety glasses underneath my helmet, and these are RX Safety. Thank you, RX Safety. These are badass. And they're, uh, when I'm welding, I use uh, prescription glasses because I'm up close, because I usually have my face like right here, and what happens is it gets kind of foggy and I can't see nothing, so uh, RX Safety sent us those glasses. And then, uh, like I said, Yes Welder sent us these, uh, the welding helmets, and we'll give them a try. Yeah, it's a total, total different feeling having the, the side vision like this. It's really cool. <clears throat> the other thing I really like about these helmets is like the, your other helmets, they're like a, a dark yellow, orange, or a brown, and you can hardly see anything when you're welding. These are almost crystal clear. They have a little bit of a blue green tint to them. When they, you can see them flash, so you know they're flashing, so it's not gonna mess with your eyes. But when, when it flashes and it comes on, uh, it's like a light green blue tint, and it's amazing. You can see crystal clear. So that makes it really nice, which I can see that how that would help your uh, welding, you know?
The other thing I'm noticing too is they must have like an anti-fog or something on there because on my other helmet when you're welding, it fogs up the whole uh, inside because like right now it's real hot out. So it's kind of humid and uh, it's uh, my other helmet just fogs up the whole screen and you sometimes you have to flip it up, let it air out and then put your helmet back down. And this one's not doing it. So I don't know how they got it to do that. I don't know if it's just the way it's vented or if it's uh or if they have like an anti-fog or something on there. So that's kind of trick too. And I'm not just saying that because they sent us the helmets. I'm saying that because, you know, that's, that's how I do my reviews. Um, I'll let you guys know if I like them or if I hate them. And right now I'm really digging them. The only thing I'm hating right now is this uh, adjustment setup, but I'll go read the instructions and try, try to figure that out. But I'm really digging this side screens like this and that light color when you're welding, that's cool. Anyways, thanks, yes welder. Okay, so I came back over here and checked this out. And right here, I thought it was uh, normal threads, but the left side is left and the right side is right. So you got left-handed threads, right-handed threads on these. Why they did that, I'm not really sure. Why they would have reversed the threads on here. Um, but it works, you know, it works really well. And it flips up and down super easy now. So, or not up, but you know, you flip it up with your hand and then flip it down with your with your neck, you know, where you just kind of give your neck a little bit like this and it flips down like a normal welding helmet. So I have this set up nice now so I can go ahead and weld with it. So it's working out good. So one of the trick things I found with this helmet is all my other welding helmets don't have this, but it has like a ratcheting where it'll click, click, click. You can hold it at two or three or four or five just by bumping your head like this. And it, it, it'll stop where you want it to stop because sometimes you're like up underneath the dash and you want to flip it down to like right there, or you can go all the way down to right there, which is a really cool setup. So I figured out that's why they have these uh, left and right on these deals because you can adjust them just the way you want. So really trick. Yes, welder, that was a good idea. So anyways, I'm going to get back to welding. Appreciate you guys uh, uh, supporting my channel. That's awesome. Um, all you YouTubers and then the, the sponsors, I want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. So that's really cool. But I'll probably just sit up the camera, quit yapping on about the, the helmet. And uh, I wanted to try this new welding helmet to let you guys, because a lot of people were asking about the review. They were like, hey, I want to see the review and what do you think about it and whatever. And then also they sent us that new welder. And as soon as I get that thing all, the new parts coming for that, the TIG torch and the, um, the welding leads and all that uh, and the, the uh, consumables, I'll go ahead and throw that thing together and try it out. Um, one of the other things I need to do too, I was gonna tell you, is I have this new Harbor Freight um, finger brake roller shear behind me. And I want to build a stand for that because I wanna use it right now. And right now the way it's sitting, I can't really use it, it kinda sucks. And that bitch is heavy, like really heavy. So I'm gonna probably have to, uh, I'll probably have to do it right here behind me and lift it up with the chain hoist uh, because I could drag it over there with the uh, uh, pallet jack. I have the pallet jack behind me also. And I'll move it over there with the pallet jack, lift it up with the chain hoist, and then sit it down on a table. And I actually have a table out back, but the problem is, is I'm afraid in the shop it's going to jam it up too much and I won't be able to go up against a wall with it, so I might have to build a table. But it's something that I'm going to need for the floors when I'm, when I'm working on Rogue. And I've been wanting to get one of those for a long time, and I have uh, you know battery covers and firewall to build on that and a whole bunch of panels to build. So I wanna make sure and get this thing put together so I can use that and my uh, metal break. So that's, that'll be an up, upcoming project also. Anyways, I don't wanna ramble on. Um, I might cut this video short because I have a lot of stuff to do on the car and I wanna get it done and I don't wanna be messing around too much. Um, so if anything, I'll probably just set up the camera and just weld. So we'll see what happens.
Kelly Jones. <laughs> if you're watching. This stuff helps a lot right here. That's a nozzle gel from Hobart. This stuff is badass. It helps a lot because uh, you get tired of cleaning the nozzle out all the time. It's all jammed up. And uh, Kelly Jones was yelling at me. He's like, why don't you have no damn nozzle gel? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so when we were in town a while back, I grabbed some because I needed it. And it works good. It helps a lot. Still gotta tighten this a little bit on this helmet. One of the other things I like about the Yes Welder that I wanted to show you guys is when you put on a, put the helmet on. <clears throat> the other helmets, um, you always have trouble when you go to put your glasses on because they hit, the welders hang down so low that they're right here on the side of your ears and you can't get your uh, glasses on, on a lot of the helmets that I've noticed. And this, these ones, it's super easy. Just, you know, because a lot of times I'm holding stuff with one hand, I'm trying to weld it, I'll put my helmet on. And when I put my helmet on, what happens is I try to put my glasses on too. And then, you know, you're trying to fight to put these glasses on with one hand and you just can't do it. So you have to stop, put everything down, take the helmet off, put your glasses on, put the helmet back on. It's just a pain in the ass. But this is a good design. Um, I'm really happy with it right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a lot more use on it, whatever. And I'm gonna probably finish this video right here. <clears throat> I'll just do this as a Yes Welder uh, helmet review because I got so much going on right now. I'm going to try to pump out some more videos um, as I'm working. I'll just uh, turn the camera on and let you guys watch whatever. Uh, a lot of you guys like to watch out for whatever reason. I mean, I appreciate that though. You know, it, it supports the channel and everything. You know, I love all the YouTube supporters and everything on here. Um, I want to say uh, uh, hi to Zach. Uh, Zach from Max. Uh, if you're watching, brother, uh, that was really cool meeting you yesterday, man. Uh, finally got to meet one of my other YouTube uh, followers and supporters and whatever. <clears throat> and that was, uh, you know, we were coming back from uh, camping at the cabin when we went to the wedding and all that stuff. And uh, I got to meet uh, Zach at one of the Max grocery stores or whatever, or gas station. So that was really cool. But anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. Later.